because the majority of the people I said, well, can I get in better shape than I was at the universe? And people are like, no, because you were in your 20s. You, you can't do that at this stage. And it's like, you don't, you don't know us. Should you train lighter when cutting? Go out there. All of you that want to do that, go out there and train lighter as you cut down. And then, would we have got more muscular and stronger if we toned it down just a bit? I felt like we had the whole, the whole Franco Arnold thing, but at a, at a different level. How you doing? All right, high and dry, high and dry. We are going, um, but I did want to jump on today because of the fact that it is Purge Wednesday. Purge Wednesday. Uh, we're going to be purging the Titan crew. Uh, Jeffrey, you mind giving them the link over to there? Because we're going to boot them out within a couple hours anyways. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to send out emails to everybody so make sure should i train lighter when cutting dude absolutely it's not even a question you trying to disappear absolutely so even though we got tons of information and tons of stuff they're still missing the information right so me and honey talked about this uh remember to get that youtube me and honey talking about when you train light and you're dieting, you just disappear and you become, yeah. No, no, no. I sent you a one minute clip. YouTube one minute clip. Um, yeah. So it, you, you, this is what I recommend. This, this is the best way for you to do it now. Uh, so somebody asked here, um, should you train lighter when cutting? Go out there. All of you that want to do that, go out there and train lighter as you cut down and then come back to me in three months and tell me what you think the answer is. How's that sound? Because if I tell you, and I've told you repeatedly what to do, uh, it keeps coming back a different way. Real quick, if this is the level of questions we are at what today, got? I got just. What do you got? How do you take glutamine? We've we've done a hundred videos of that. What the? F Come on, guys. How often should it use glutamine? Come on, dog. First day, like feeling crap on plates. <laughs> First day, you should feel like a superhero on blitz. More than a month in. More than a month in. That person is? Okay, then great. Well, well uh, there's been a lot of natty uh, IFBB pros, my friend. So I guess that's a yes. I don't know what a push-pull leg routine is. I'm sorry. Um, if you can explain what a push-pull leg routine is. I know what a push-pro, uh, push-and-pull program is, but not a leg can you do you know what that is there is yeah i don't i don't know if you're just making things up huh. there is a push pull program and it's usually tailored for uh power lifters not bodybuilders let me see what you got in here. Yeah, go for it let me go see for what it you got in here. first let me see if you got anybody in this nothing no nothing but let's see who we can uh, send to yeah that's real oh t hey. I don't think he'll pick up. Get him in there. He won't pick up. Get him in there. If this guy picks up, I would be shocked. Get him in there. Because he, he's like uh, one of my best training partners ever. Get ever, him in there. Ever. Next to me. Holy she, she did pick up. You, you guys, <laughs> Tito. You, you guys oh, don't that's even. Tito? That's Tito. Oh, she. You guys don't even know right now. My brother. What's up, buddy? <laughs> When are we going to go hit some links? I wasn't sure how to do it. You did it. Uh, oh, you should have texted me. Well, I just wanted to say uh, hi because we saw that there was a chance I could probably get you on here. What you guys don't know is this is a fellow Natty Universe champion. Um, and to date, my, my bet, huh? You won the universe. Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah. But another thing is more than, yeah. more importantly than that, he is to date, and I've trained with Dorian Yates, Lee Haney, Gary Stridham, uh, Serge, Serge, uh, Charles. Um, the list goes on. Lou Ferrigno, Robbie Robinson. My best training partner is right there. That's right. And you know what? Guess where my best training partner is? Um, right. Amy. Yeah. Um, the fun thing about you is, and 
talking about training partners is the huge thing about that is that you got to find somebody that's willing to talk shit and, and call you out and go, dude, that was nothing. You can go up yep. um, and not be scared to do that. And not, not feel timid. You know, it's like hey, you do your workout. I'll do mine. You know, I'll push myself. You push yours. It's like, nah, you come in drained um, and, and your training partner is supposed to raise you up. And then when you come in with energy and your partner's down, you raise them up. Absolutely. I felt like yeah, we had the whole, bad. the whole Franco Arnold thing, but at a, at a different level, just cause we were both, um, yeah. just, yeah, it was just cause it was every freaking workout. We had to stop training together because you were going into having a family and everything, and you're like, I can't train this way anymore because I go home and I take a three-hour nap, and Amy's like, kid, you can't. You start being a businessman and take care of that stuff, and it was like, uh, uh. so. Yeah. You know it. You know it. You want to spend every, every moment, every moment that you have with your kid. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So. So question, going back to that, would we have got better if we, not mentally, because mentally that, that changed us from everybody. Mentally that helped us because we knew that there was no off button. That's what helped me get, you know, battle done, what got me gladiators, what got me willing to fight and continue the pattern. So there's a benefit from training that extremely hard with another Mr. Universe. But would we have got more muscular and stronger if we toned it down just a bit? I don't know. Um, that's you know, that's a great question. Um, but I think we did exactly what was best for us. See, it was a give and take, I'm huh? Happy. I'm happy with the end result. You know what I mean? It's a great point because it was it was more about the battles with you and me than it was anything else. Anything. You weren't going to give up. I wasn't going to give up. Uh, if you guys don't know, this kid, Tito here, not just strong, just ridiculously strong um, and, and, and willing to call me out on it. Because the one thing I, I got lucky when I first got to California um, and first walked in Gold's Gym with all these guys like Mike Quinn, Jim Quinn, and uh, you know, all the greats of that era, I was stronger than everybody. As a 20-year-old, I was stronger than them. And it was... And then I meet you, and I'm sitting there seeing you deadlift this kind of crazy ass weight and moving the dumbbells, and I'm like, "What the?" That so, was some fun times. yeah, wouldn't stop. I was just talking about it. Was the biggest number was it was 2020. the strongest I ever was, um, and, and without question. And then from you know from that point on, it's just like always. I'll never get back to that what we were doing. But uh, the quest of being my 100% best is still a daily thing, you know? And I know it's yours. And that's why I saw a picture of you the other day. You were doing something. You said, can I get in better shape? And I said, are you kidding me? Do I have to tell you? Of course you can, right? But see, you know that about us. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was looking at a graph today, which was the craziest thing I, uh, with Doc. You know Doc, who I train with. Um, and, and he was showing me a graph of average and then how much it drops to go either way of average. So you, you, the, the average height of a person, the average, uh, the weight of the person and all this stuff. And then it goes off the graph and goes up to like 6'2 in a smaller percentage. And it goes to like 6'5 and it goes to the other side as well. And he was just talking about the mindset that that's where society's at too. So the average can't correlate with how you and I think in the gym or how we dieted during that time, or when you won the universe, or when I won the universe. Right. Um, and so for us to uh, communicate that to people, we kind of just have to kind of keep our mouths shut and just do what we do. Because the majority of the people I said, well, can I get in better shape than I was at the universe? And people are like, no, because you were in your 20s. You, you can't do that at this stage. And it's like, you don't, you don't know us. No. You know, and, and, and that's the thing that's funny, and I see you play with people all the time, though, is they, 
they don't know because mentally they 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 defeated right look at this hunk they don't even know they don't even know what who oh, is what possible. no way Hello. hi Hello. how are you Hello. oh my goodness i miss you so much oh what what look what mom was doing oh, oh my god <laughs> that looks like filet mignon it is, it is filet mignon but it is it is uh it is fat free for living now, dude. It's that's me five times a day, baby. Oh yeah. That's, all, that's, all, that's Mike's portion. Where's yours? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> that's mine and Titans. <laughs> and I appreciate you, brother. We're gonna get you over here to meet the little beast and stuff, and then he we'll said go. April. He said April. It's April. Yeah. And then let's go hit some links. Yes, for sure. I told you we went last night. I just dusted off all of my clubs. I'm ready to roll. You're a lefty. You're a lefty. I am a, I'm a, I'm a righty. Hey, just wanted to let you know that Titan is as tall as you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, his shin bones are so. It's man. Uh, I can't wait to hang with you, brother, and talk further. He's, he's going to be bigger than me. Ten years. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right, kid. Talk to you soon. Give the best of the family. All right, brother. I'll bug you this week. Next week. All right, brother. Bye, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Um, guys, that was Tito. Tito Raymond. Go follow him. Um, incredible. Um, I would say, uh, depending on your goal, and I'm looking at your photo, what is better to start with, powerlifting or power bodybuilding? Uh, remember that power bodybuilding is a derivative of powerlifting, and so I incorporate the three lifts in there. The only thing I do out, uh, more than that is also create the body that goes along with it, and then the facets that I believe that uh, powerlifters miss out on. Um, and and so yeah, I would say power bodybuilding. Um, but you, the one good thing is I always lifted power bodybuilding and competed in powerlifting. So yeah, that's uh, that's one of the big things. I think also too is I got lucky in being around the greatest. Is that they did things that USA uh, powerlifting didn't put in print. They they did things that uh, you know the high neck came from that era. The the close grips came from that era. The the eighties, the late seventies and eighties is uh, where I learned all that kind of stuff. So um, for anybody that wants to powerlift. It's power bodybuilding. Anybody wants to bodybuild? It's power bodybuilding. Question about should you lift light and diet? So what you're telling me is I'm going to go really weak and 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 take nutrition away from me, so there's nothing retaining that muscle. If you believe that that's the approach, please go do it. Come on, that's, we know better than that, guys. And you don't need me to tell you that. You already know that. I think that's not even a question. I think that's one of those things that. Hey, I'm feeling down today and you want somebody to say, hey, I'm here for you. You know, I want to cater you. Hey, do I look okay in this dress? Sure, honey, you look good. Um, you know what I mean, though? It seems as though that's what kind of it is. It's yeah, like, I if I tell you, oh, you you can lift light. Well, Mike, I can lift light. So now you're going to do it and you feel good about it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to tell you how to cheat it. Power body bone for life. This guy knows. Stevie, you're stronger now than you've ever been. You're better shaped now than you've ever been. Oh, coach, I'm doing the dry out for Saturday, peak day, to look the best and fuller for the photos. Would you do a little pump with elastics? Oh, okay. So terminated, bro. Look at that, look at that, Jeff. Damn. Oh look shit. Let me see that shit. You guys want to see something? Look at the camel toe. Look at that. Oh. That is a toe. Yeah, Mike. Ooh, ooh, look at that guy. Look at that. He's 14 right there. <laughs> <laughs> bro, old ladies. Look at this one. Four Jim, Jim. He's seven. <laughs> I would um, definitely do a pump. Fluff. I'd get a spray Fluff. tan. I'd get a pump. Um, but you're eating really well, too. So. Don't get an extreme pump because you're going to be pumped up so much just from the carbohydrates and how I set up the nutrition. 